Hello, thanks for joining me today for our Godly Play lesson this week. Today, we're going to have a different type of lesson that I don't think we've done before. We're going to hear one of the stories of the saints. All of the saints' lessons appear at the end of our storytelling shelves because their stories come after all of the Bible stories. Saints are people who came so close to God and God came so close to them that they learn special things about God's love and can teach us about how God wants us to live in the world. Today, we're gonna to hear the story of St. Columba of Scotland. St. Columba was originally born in Ireland. He was a monk, which meant he lived with other monks in a place called a monastery, and they prayed all day and did God's work. The name Columba means the dove, and people called him that because they said his face shone like an angel, and he loved people so well and was so kind and gentle that he brought peace wherever he went. But it wasn't always like that. St. Columba's job at the monastery was to copy books, and he was very good at it. He loved books. And back then, they didn't have computers or printing presses, and so they copied books by hand. He would spend his days writing the words from one book into another and drawing pictures and making it beautiful so that people could understand and would want to read the books. He was very good at it. But also, he sometimes got jealous of the books. And one day, he stole a book from his friend Finian, and he copied it so that he would have a copy not to share with others, but just for himself. When Finian found out that his book was stolen, he was very angry. And he actually went and told the King of Ireland what Columba had done. And the King told Columba that it wasn't right, and he had to return the book and the copy he made to Finian. This made Columba very angry. So angry that he got a group of his friends and he set out to declare war on the King of Ireland, and they fought a battle. And at the end, Columba looked around, and he saw that many people had died because of his anger and his jealousy, and he knew that it wasn't right. He asked for forgiveness, and then he said that he would take his little group of friends, and they would leave the island and live somewhere else to show that they were truly sorry and so that they could begin to teach other people about forgiveness and the danger of anger and about loving people the right way. So Columba and 12 of his friends got in these little boats and they sailed away from Ireland. When they had sailed so far that they could no longer see their home, they stopped on the first island they landed on, a small little island, three miles long and two miles wide, called Iona. It's still there today, and you can visit it. And that's where he and his friends created their new home. They built a little chapel so that they could continue to worship God. And they built little huts to live in and they fished in the sea, and they farmed the land, and they raised animals. And they started copying books again so that they could teach others about God. And they would go out from their little island into all of Scotland to teach people about God, about forgiveness, and loving people, and about the dangers of anger. They taught normal people and they taught kings. The king 
there began to love Columba so much that he helped him build a great monastery. And the people began to respect Columba so much that when that king died, they let Columba choose their new king. He chose for them King Aidan, who was a good man and became a truly great king. Columba lived on that island and went out teaching people about God for 34 years until he, could, he had brought most of the people of Scotland over to the Christian faith. And somewhere in his 34th year, he was copying yet another copy of the Bible, writing it in beautiful handwriting, making colorful pictures so that people would want to read it. And one day, he was copying Psalm 34, and he wrote the words, those who seek after God will have every good thing. And he thought to himself, that is the story of my life. And that is the last page I will copy. And that was the end for him. He had lived a good life, serving God, making amends for the things he did wrong, learning about forgiveness, and teaching others about God's love. His influence still survives today throughout Scotland and particularly on the island of Iona. Now I wonder, what is your favorite part of Columbus' story? I wonder what you think the most important part of this story is. I wonder if there's any part of this story that's kind of like your own story. Maybe you love books. Maybe you sometimes are jealous or angry. Maybe you love people really, really well, like God asked us to. I wonder if there's any part of this story that we could leave out and it would still be the same. I wonder what we learned today from this saint about how God wants us to live. Thanks for joining me for Godly Play this week.